you guys. We got some real serious to talk about today. We're gonna talk about cold sores. I feel like nobody talks about cold sores because if you get them, you don't want anybody to know that you do. And if you have one, you probably aren't leaving the house or your room. Right now, I have a cold sore. Hopefully you can't see, it's right here. Whenever I get a cold sore, I don't wanna leave the house. There's this big open wound on your face that oozes. I feel like everybody's constantly staring at it. So it's tough. I make a living performing on stage. And so I'm already self-conscious as it is without this burning thing on my face. And when I get them, it throws this huge wrench in my video making plans because I have to wait for it to heal. So know that if I'm not putting videos out for a while, it's probably because I have a cold sore. Anyway, if you don't know what a cold sore is or what it entails, that's what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna use a combination of WebMD and my awesome brain to give you guys textbook information and real life information. Okay, so what is a cold sore? Let's ask the internet. So according to the internet, cold sores are groups of small blisters on the lip around the mouth. Cold sores are caused by herpes simplex virus or HSV. There are two kinds of HSV. They are called HSV1 and HSV2. The real life answer is cold sores are the devil. If you're gonna have any kind of HSV, make sure it's number one, not number two. HSV1 happens around the mouth or nose area. A lot of people don't know that it can happen in the nose area, but it can. I know this because that's where I get them. HSV number one usually only stays above the neck, which is good. HSV two can go other places. <gasps> I know what you're thinking. What are the symptoms? The internet says, the first symptoms of cold sores may include pain around your mouth and your lips, a fever, a sore throat, or swollen glands in your neck or other parts of the body. The internet also says, the skin around the blisters is often red, swollen, and sore. The blisters may break open, leak clear fluid, and then scab over after a few days. They usually heal in several days to two weeks. A list of real life symptoms include being homicidal, being suicidal, looking like a troll, and wanting to hit your face with a machete. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about some of the stuff that you, you can do to help get rid of your cold sore or just not get them in the first place. The internet says to help prevent cold sores or to help them heal faster, you're gonna wanna use things like Abriva, Campophonique, and a lot of creams to put over your cold sore and hope that it heals itself. So recently I went to my dermatologist and she gave me this awesome stuff called Cidavig. This is the only thing that's ever semi worked for me. The only bad part about this is that you have to catch your cold sore right when you start experiencing any of the symptoms. Like as soon as you see any redness at all, that's when you're supposed to take this stuff. The last remedy I have works great, but it's not for the faint of heart. Welcome to Chris's laboratory. Before I get started with this one, I just want to say that I found this online before I tried it. I did not make this up, but again, yeah. So, the cold sore has started as soon as possible, and this is the crazy part. I take a bath towel and I scrape away the blisters. Yes, it hurts. Then, I run up to my sister's room and get nail polish remover. <laughs> I promise it works good. You dip your finger into the nail polish remover and you put like a few drops on the cold sore spot and then it's gonna feel like somebody took a thousand f needles and shoved them into your face. That's how you know you're doing it right. So why are you putting nail polish remover on your face? <laughs> nail polish remover has acetone in it which helps dries all of that nasty stuff out. Plus, you wanna get some with vitamin E in it because the vitamin E is going to make it less likely to leave a scar. 
If you've done that and you're still alive, it's really important to keep the cold sore moisturized or some kind of moisture on it because that's gonna keep you from getting a scar. All right, I think that's it. If you have another topic you want me to talk about, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I love you guys. Until next time. See ya! I need more nail polish remover.